Good morning. Conditions are looking pretty great for us here this morning in Fargo. We've got mild temperatures, light wind, and uh, some dry weather too here for us for the moment. But we do have some chances for some precipitation coming up today. So looking out on our Storm Team SkyCam network, we have good visibility here in Fargo. Things are looking just fine. There are other places where we're putting up with some fog. There's some snow that's developing here in the valley as well. And here's a look at some of our visibility reports, mainly in the east and west, right in the heart of the valley. We've got some good conditions. But over to the east, we're down to three miles in Wadena, two in Elbow Lake. Alexandria is at a half mile, so if you're heading down I-94 this morning, you'll run into some of that fog in the next couple of hours. And then over to the west, we're down to less than a mile in Carrington. Langdon is at a mile and a half visibility, and Cooperstown is at two. So there are some places that the fog is dense over in Carrington. Not so bad in Cooperstown, but seeing that report of two miles makes me wonder if there are other places in that area where that fog is a little bit more uh, intense. So here's a look at our radar right now. You can see there's some snow to the east, maybe a couple of flakes over in Becker County and up to Monoman County, but definitely seeing some more impressive returns in the western part of our viewing area. They're kind of moving west a little bit, uh, and so they're west of Carrington, stretching up Highway 281 toward Devil's Lake, and then and the Langdon area, Cavalier County, seeing some flakes potentially, and northwestern parts of Stutzman County. Your temperatures right now are into the 20s, so that's the good thing here. Even though we've got some fog and some light snow in the region, we're into the teens and 20s for just about every location here. We're at 23 degrees in Fargo and 22 in Grand Forks. It's 28 in Detroit Lakes and in Fergus Falls, so a great morning uh, as far as temperatures are concerned. And even when we factor in the wind, wind chills are still above zero. And speaking of, it's getting a little breezier out to the west. We're seeing some winds into the teens. Now a gust in Gwinter to 23 miles per hour. It's a northerly wind that's taken over here for today with some lighter wind speeds over to the east here to start off this morning. So again, a windy one potentially for some of us this morning to start off today. Factor in some snow developing potentially in this uh, little system moving through and, and we've got some lower visibility at times uh, in addition to those areas of fog. So as we head through the morning, we'll kind of see the snow start to uh, develop a little bit more gradually through the morning hours. So by 9 a.m. you could see we're looking at that snow potential in the Southern Valley, especially into Lakes Country as we continue through the morning and into the afternoon. So we're looking at the potential for some accumulation in these spots and then heading into the four o'clock hour uh, still dealing with it at that point in time northern valley it's going to be a lot quieter for you though we can't rule out some flakes for you as well and temperatures today that stay in that 20 to 30 degree range basically throughout the day mostly cloudy skies we don't get that sunshine we got to enjoy yesterday and then continuing on into the evening i mean this is something where we get that snow setting up we could end up with some good accumulation in some spots if it ends up falling for some time in some of those same locations in the south Heading into the 11 o'clock hour, starting to quiet things down. We're looking at, again, mostly cloudy skies, perhaps a few flakes and flurries lingering overnight. And then heading into your Friday morning temperatures, we'll be into the teens for a lot of places to start off the day. So snowfall potential with this. Again, if that light snow sits over a place for a while, we could end up with two, three inches of snow with this round. Elsewhere, lesser amounts. In fact, Northern Valley, not really expecting much of anything with this event. Now heading through the day on Friday, drier day, quieter day. We're looking at temperatures that are going to be by 3 o'clock in the afternoon back to around 20 to 30 degrees above again and some quieter wind as well. Looks like a really good day uh, and a little more sunshine trying to break through, especially in the west for the day on Friday and into Friday night, keeping that milder weather around. So here's your planner heading into the weekend. Looks fantastic. We've got temperatures 20s to some 30s uh, Saturday and into Sunday. I'm hoping we'll get some more sun and in addition to that, uh, it's just going to be pretty nice as far as dry conditions are concerned. A huge difference from last weekend. And then heading into next week, getting a little more unsettled, but keeping those mild temperatures around through the first half of the week. I'm just going to block out last weekend. And right? Just... I've, I've moved on from yep, it. Yeah, it's too. pretty easy to forget <laughs> it. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. It's now 454. We hear stories every day of someone being attacked, and one Fargo gym doesn't want you to be the victim. We'll learn more about self-defense coming up next.